All new only here tonight at six, three months after New Chapel EMS in Southern Indiana stopping the primary 911 dispatch system in Clark County. Response times have improved by about three minutes. We have discovered Heartland Ambulance Service has replaced them. And while it's more expensive, local leaders are now saying it's worth it. Focus reporter Travis Breeze is following up, telling us how New Chapel has not completely left this picture yet, though. Travis. That's right, Doug. They have not. They have a new name and they're only doing non-emergency transports. They do believe they fit into this new system with Heartland Ambulance. As the numbers show, things are getting better. From the ashes of New Chapel EMS has risen Phoenix Ambulance. New colors, far fewer ambulances, and one man very much not in the picture. It's no secret that the New Chapel name in large part is tied to the previous leadership of the company. Um, he is not here anymore. Jamie Knoll was placed on leave from New Chapel almost one year ago and fully removed in January. The organization stayed in the news because of Knoll's deeply rooted theft schemes. We have said for a long time this company was more than one person um, and that we would not let his actions define us. Phoenix Ambulance now has about 10 employees, three ambulances, and is only doing convalescent runs. Those are non-emergency runs, typically to and from nursing homes. You do feel like doing the convalescent runs is going to significantly help the overall system? I think so, yeah. Um, there's been a consensus, not just here in Clark County, but throughout a lot of different areas, that one of the strains on emergency systems is people calling for non-emergent situations. Um, I know there's a need for interfacility facility in the area right now. We've had calls from the hospitals and nursing homes about a need for it. Josh Keywood is the director of operations for Heartland Ambulance, who is now doing EMS for the whole county. Heartland was three minutes faster than New Chapel on average, comparing September 2023 to September of this year. We've also heard a lot from the fire police um, departments around here um, that are, are shocked about how quick we're getting to the scenes. While the response times are improving, Clark County is paying Heartland more than double what it paid New Chapel, over 200,000 a month and a long-term plan is not in place yet. I also spoke with Brian Glover today, the president of the Clark County Commissioners. He said there will be a joint meeting of the commissioners and the county council coming up on November 18th. The long-term plan is still not in place as Heartland's contract will expire on November 21st. In the studio, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side.